Uh, today we want to learn about uh, gamma distribution. So number one, we have to define what is what to call the donation of gamma distribution. From there we look on now we find the mean mean and variance as well as the standard deviation. And then from there, we're going to look at one or two examples, and therefore we'll be able to understand what it all entails about gamma distribution. So at the start, let us look at the definition. We say that Y is distributed as a gamma variable with parameters alpha and beta if it has a corresponding PDF, which is the property of Y, given alpha and beta is being equal to uh, beta power alpha out of gamma into alpha, then y, then raised to power alpha minus 1, uh, exponential negative beta, then y. So from the definition, that is all about what entails about the definition of gamma distribution. From there, we can also be able to note that if we have a standard deviation, if we have a standard gamma distribution, then beta is equal to 1. This is when we have a standard uh, gamma uh, distribution. Then if alpha is equal to 1, then we have, we have what we call when alpha uh, our alpha is equal to 1, then we have exponential density function. Exponential density function. So in a question you might not be given, maybe you can just be told that this is a standard gamma distribution and therefore you are supposed to know the value of beta must be equal to 1 or when it is an exponential density function. A question can just mention, mention like that and then it can't tell you that alpha is 1. So therefore you are supposed to have that one in mind. Please take note of this. From there, let us look on how we can find the mean of a gamma distribution. So if x has a gamma distribution with parameters alpha and beta, then the mean, that is the expect, expectation of x, can be obtained by, that is also known as mu, can be able to be obtained by alpha out of beta. Also we can note that the gamma into the alpha is known as uh, the, the, the function of alpha. This is the same as this one. And therefore, uh, to get the mean, it is alpha out of beta. So how can we now obtain the Farency and standard deviation of a gamma distribution? Farency and standard deviation. So for us to be able to obtain the, the, the Farency, the Farency, that is of x, uh, is equal to sigma squared, which is equal to alpha out of beta squared. So you just take the formula of the mean and then it is now beta squared. And then, of course, we know that the standard deviation is equal to the square root of variance. And therefore, to obtain the, the standard deviation from the variance, what just they do is just the square root of uh, sigma squared. That is, of course, sigma. It will give us sigma. Now that is uh, standard deviation will be given by the square root of alpha out of beta squared, which is like the square root of alpha out of beta. And that is how we obtain uh, the standard deviation given a gamma distribution. Now before that, we can be able to also know that about the something we call a chi-square. It is so important to know this, a chi-square. In case you are given a, a chi-square, you can be able to find that, uh, for, of, of course, from our explanation, say suppose x is a chi-square, a random variable with degrees of freedom, that is phi degrees of freedom, then the mean, 
the mean is able you can be able to obtain the mean uh, by is is the same as the degrees of freedom the phi degrees of freedom that that one gives you the mean and of course uh, the variancy that is sigma squared is given by two phi and of course the standard deviation will be the square root of uh, two phi and that is all about that is all uh, as our simple explanation uh, the summary of gamma uh, distribution so now let us uh, without much ado back uh, our example number one which says that uh, suppose the reaction time of a randomly selected uh, individual is on a certain stimulus as a standard the gamma distribution with alpha uh, two seconds find the property that the reaction time uh, will be uh, Roman 1 between 3 and 5 seconds and Roman 2 greater than uh, 4 seconds We can be able to say that uh, from here of course there is also a point, uh, an important point to note, uh, but uh, I will explain that one shortly. Uh, we say that uh, our formula uh, says that uh, uh, beta uh, alpha out of uh, the function of alpha, then we have y alpha minus 1, that is the power, and then exponential uh, negative beta times y. So, but now, when when we have a, our question, for example, in this case, is continuous. So, it between 3 and 5 seconds, and therefore, we're going to change uh, the formula sh in, in a straight tree, in a straight to manner, to be able to fit our question. So, we simply say that it is the integral that is, we can say fx. We go to integ integral maybe from a to p. Then, of course, beta uh, power alpha out of the function the function of alpha. Uh, and then uh, x, we now use x. Then it will be alpha minus 1. And then exponential negative uh, beta times x and then of course the x that is what we do when you, our question for example is continuous you can see at roman a it is between three and five seconds so what i'm going to do here it is the integral from three to five because the three to five seconds then of course being a standard gamma distribution we know that beta is one beta will be one and of course uh, alpha our alpha is 2, so we square it, it's the power of 2 because they were saying uh, our alpha is 2, it's given here, 2 seconds. So, and then out of the function of gamma, which is like uh, gamma into alpha, the function is it's written like that, or it is written like this. So we take one, we take one in each case, we don't take both of them, and then of course uh, x x power alpha minus 1 and then of course exponential it is now negative x because beta is 1 now we have uh, that one so what we uh, we are going to find it was the property between that is the property between when x is less than or equal to uh, 3 and then this x here let me write it in a good way so prove that uh, 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to uh, 5 so it's been given by this now so having reached that point and therefore what we have to do the next step uh, we can see that it will be the integral from 3 to 5 of course uh, x x uh, power one on of course e exponential uh, negative exponential negative x then of course uh, dx because our beta our beta is two seconds our beta is two so when beta is two we can know that this one it is like uh, two minus one uh, factorials and therefore we can be able to obtain one factorial and that one uh, will give you one that is why we have just excluded here in our question
So up to this point, we now apply we now apply, apply integration uh, by part where we say uh, the integral from u uh, d phi is given by u phi minus phi, the integral of phi uh, du. We just apply it here to solve this part. So in applying that, we can say that let u, uh, let u, let u is equal to x, and of course we let, uh, uh, we let uh, d phi, d phi to be equal to uh, the, the remaining part it is uh, exponential exponential negative x to the power of negative x that is so we can go to find that if u is equal to x then it means uh, du is equal to dx and then here to get phi it means it is the integral of uh, exponential to the power of negative x so if we want to, to obtain phi and therefore phi will be given by phi will be given by negative uh, exponential negative x. So we have integrated that. And what we have to do here, we just combine what we have. So we want to find that a negative uh, x expo exponential negative x minus the integral of uh, negative exponential then to the power of negative x and of course uh, dx. So we obtain that uh, negative x exponential negative x minus exponential uh, negative x and of course plus c we can realize that this one and this one is similar and therefore we can go to factor out uh, negative exponential uh, negative to the power of negative x then we remain with uh, x uh, plus 1 x plus 1 and of course plus c and the limits were from uh, 3 to 5 and therefore inside this one here the c will disappear because we have to eliminate Limits, and then we we'll obtain our answer as 0 0.1587. So let us go to the second part of the question that was asking us uh, to find uh, the part of the question was saying greater than uh, we are finding the property that the reaction time will be greater than four seconds. Greater than four seconds, that is our Roman 2. Uh, we say that the propriet uh, that x will be greater than four seconds. Remember, it is the propriet greater than four seconds. It is uh, greater than four seconds. This one, if we do it in such a way, we can't know the end because greater than four seconds. It is for, from four, uh, that is uh, greater than four up to infinity, and therefore we can't be able to find that in such a propriet. So we simply say it is one minus the propriet uh, x is less than or equal. To four. So and then we say that uh, it is simply one uh, minus uh, from this is the integral we have now from zero to four, and uh, uh, we have x. We just take this part because we realize the other part will simply give us a. Uh, uh, we just take this part here. We take this part here because the other part, even though we solve it, it will just give us one, and therefore let us just take this part. Taking it here, it is giving us x, x exponential, uh, negative x uh, dx. Readers in the grid that using the same same method that we used, so there's no need of repeating, just follow the process and we'll be able to obtain this one. So it is 1 uh, minus uh, uh, negative x plus 1 uh, exponential negative x. The limit is from 0 uh, to 4. Uh, we can be able in substituting this one uh, we can be able to obtain a uh, 1 minus 1 minus 5 exponential negative 4 so it is giving us 0 0.091158 so let us take uh, the other example, example two, the last one, for you to be able to fully understand what we mean when you talk about gamma distribution. So example two, suppose the display for time x in weeks of a randomly selected male mouse exposed to 240 rads of gamma distribution with alpha is equal to eight and beta is one out of 15. Uh, the first part of the question, find the expected value and the standard deficient of the survival for time. And part B, what is the probability that the mouse survives uh, part A between 60 and 120 weeks and then part 2 at least 30 weeks so and then so let us find the solution the same question 
So what we do here, when we talk, they talk about the expected uh, value, that is simply we know that it's, it is the mean. It is the mean which we find we find by uh, alpha, uh, that is the uh, alpha out of beta, which is simply uh, eight out of one out of fifteen, which is like eight times fifteen, which is giving us one twenty uh, weeks. Let us go to the the, the other part. We are talking about uh, uh, they were talking about uh, standard deviation also. So standard deviation will be able to will to obtain that by uh, eight times fifteen squared, which will give us uh, forty two point four two six four weeks. So then part B of the question, the part B, what is the probability that a mouse survives between 60 and 120 weeks? So we are finding that probability. So it is probability that X is less than or equal to 60 uh, uh, and of course up to 120. So it is simply the integral from 60 to 120. Uh, that is applying our formula, 1 out of 15 power 8, uh, of course the function of 8 now, function of 8, uh, x power 7, exponential negative x out of 15 uh, dx, dx, and then the next step now, Having reached this point, we know that we have x out of 15 here. We can simply let, uh, let uh, x out of 15 be y. Now that this one is y, we can also say that uh, uh, now x will be equal to 15y. Therefore, let us now substitute. Let us substitute. This is 15 to the power of 8. It is now because this is x. Uh, we can even, that one changes even our limits because now substitute with 60 out of 15 and then to get now the limits in terms of y from our definition I hope you, you do remember, keep on the track so it is now the integral uh, x that is 60 out of 15 it is giving us 4 and then 120 out of 15 it is 8 so it is 1 out of uh, 15 power of, power of 8 Remember, 15 to the power of 8 is 15 power 7 uh, times, of course, 15 to the power of 1. And then the function of, of, of 8, which is like 8 minus 1 factorials, and of course, it is 7 factorials. And then uh, x uh, power 7, but now we said uh, instead of x, it's actually 15 because it is 15y, so it is 15y, this one, power 7, and then exponential, actually this was negative x, that was negative x, and therefore it is negative uh, y, uh, dy. But even dy, you can be able to substitute even dy because dy is actually uh, 15, that is instead of dx, it is 15 dy from here. So we can be able to say that this one and this one cancels out. Uh, what remains is uh, the integral from 4 to 8. So we have, this is 15 power 7, and this is 15 power 7, y power 7. So because we said let uh, x out of 15 be y. So you can get x to the power of 1 and then 15 to the power of 1. So even when it's the power of 7 and then uh, the other y to the power of 7, that one will simply give us y. So it will give us y. So that is why now, when substituting it, we can be able to say that uh, we can be able to obtain uh, we can be able to obtain 15 power 7 y power 7 out of 15 power 7 times 7 factorials uh, exponential negative y uh, dy. So why and the, and the 15, so what, what will we obtain here? In substituting that, we can factor 7 factorials out it's because it's a constant. 1 out of 7 factorials out, therefore we can be able to remain with the integral from 4 to 8 and then y power 7 exponential negative y uh, dy. So up to this point again we apply integration by part formula. Integration by part formula, the integral of u d v is equal to u v uh, minus the integral of v uh, du. 
So we, we, we say let uh, t is 1, that is why you can say let u uh, is equal to y uh, power 7. But there's a trick, a trick here. So when we have said let y, and then of course our dv will be equal to exponential to the power of negative y. So what we simply do here, we just, because when you find for du out of dy, in the first case we obtain 7y, so we continue the process until we obtain a whole number. The process continues until we obtain a whole number, and going through the process, you can be able to find that uh, there is a negative outside here, and then we have a y power 7, uh, plus 7, uh, y power 6, plus 42, uh, y power 5, uh, plus 2, 10, y power 4, uh, plus 840, y cubed, and then plus 25, uh, 20, y squared, plus 50, 40, 50, 40, y, plus 50, 40. Now we've obtained our number, then we stop there, and then we add exponential to the power of negative y out of seven factorials. The limit was from four uh, to eight. And in putting that one, you can be able to see that it gives us 26, 1, 10, 4, exponential negative, 4 minus 680, uh, 52, 96, exponential negative 8, uh, out of 7 factorials, working out this one you obtain 0 0.4959. Uh, so part two of the question, part two of the question, at least 30 weeks, so the crop period of x greater than or equal to 30 weeks, so it is actually uh, the integral from 30 up to infinity, and then 1 out of uh, 15 to the power of 8, and then the function of gamma 8, so x power 7, x power negative x out of 15 uh, dx. And reaching here, follow the process once again uh, that I've just explained above. So you use uh, integration by part formula and going through the process, you can be able to see that you will obtain 0 0.9989 uh, as your answer. Please, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have found it simple and you have enjoyed about gamma uh, distribution.